Well, Senator Brandis, um, as we've seen in the last two weeks, um, his, he describes himself as the Minister for Books, um, and that was really a reference to his $13,000 taxpayer-funded personal library. We always knew it would require some impressive infrastructure to house all these books, and uh, what transpires is that George Brandis, uh, when he moved in there, uh, ordered a custom-made uh, bookshelves, which sort of consume basically his entire office from, you know, carpet to ceiling, wall to wall. They've been built inside the office and uh, he requested that they be moved to his new office, but they were too big. So Department of uh, Senate has, for the time being, left it in um, the, the new uh, deputy leader of the Senate's office. Okay. It's this enormous wooden thing. Uh, it's got 56 shelves. So they're all of about a metre in length. So just to give you some idea of the scale, if you lay down these shelves side by side, it would stretch beyond the length of an Olympic swimming pool. Um, you know, this is an enormous office and an enormous bookshelf, which has been bolted to the wall through what looks like plywood. Um, so the thing would need to be, you know, dismantled and, and sort of hauled out, unbolted off the wall. Um, and the Labor guys are having a bit of a laugh about it. They're calling it the Brandis Library, um, which, you know, is a sort of monument to, uh, to the great man. OK, the books cost $13,000. We know that. Do we mm. have any idea what the bookshelves cost? Mm. $7,000. Uh, so, uh, you know, at the cost of $7,000 to the taxpayer, um, George Brandis had these bookshelves um, created. So we know that, you know, over the past four years at least, his uh, reading has cost the taxpayer about $20,000.